Hello and welcome. I'm Rich Lane and joining me as always, my good friend Andrew Guy, to talk you through the action of our May championship. There has to be a freeze coming out defensively time and time again. Now Mo going back on offense. Minor plus Spear Goblin's fireball on top of that balloon. Is this going to be enough to defend though? Yeah, it should be what he did there was wait for the freeze to put the musketeer. You saw him be able to understand, okay, I can take a hit of this, no problem. He has no direct damage. I just need to make sure my musketeer doesn't get frozen so that I can take care of that loon before this second hit comes down. It was such a smart play out of him. I mean, I, I'll i put it on. I couldn't spam because I, we're sitting here talking, but if I was spamming, I'm spamming Ruben. <laughs> I just, I've lost too many times to someone like that to actually go against him. I will not even lose a prediction anymore. You know what? I'm going Ruben. And now that Mother Witch getting a little bit of value is a couple piggy populate the board here. Sparky's still sitting back, distracted by the skeletons as two witches are on the board here for Ruben, and that is going to take a big Sparky shot to clear all that off the board. And now we see a good game coming out here from Viper. Two up, two down for our former world champion. That is an easy four games and two sets to the favorites. Do not take that zap for granted. Watch what he's going to do. I'm pretty, pretty sure towards the end of the game, we might see a zap on the tower to keep up Mega Knight with one HP on and get that retargeted onto the miners. Something that the best players do over and over again. And wow, that is a wow, lot of damage. there it is. Yeah, Musketeer on the tower. Samuel Basoto starts to set off a little shaky, but then you see there the fist pump, a little bit of emotion, and that is the veteran player from Brazil coming out, taking this set. And I like that. I really think this is the correct thing to do for Hire. Just load up the weak side lane. That tower is actually the weaker one for him as well. So, so much can come down here. And it's very hard to create an offensive counter push. We do get the e in a very brilliant spot, but there's nothing left in the tank, Rich. Nothing there for Sandbox to do. A bit of frustration on the face of the young player. That one Hoggy's actually going to get on the board and get a couple hits for him that swings it in his favor. He's been getting a lot of nice zaps. I will give that to him to make sure his fisherman stays alive, but just too much pressure right now. Oh, the pressure is great. Look at that. Muhammad yeah. Light can smell blood in the water. Sandbox knows it's over. GG, well played. Comes from behind. Does Mohammed Light the throw? Still defended for the moment. That is it. Ruben and the flying machines doing exactly what we said. He, look, we talked about how Ruben could do it 30 seconds at the top of a game, or he can do it in the last minute of a five minute game, and he did just that. He held on confidently for four minutes, waiting for Triple Elixir, holding on to that bar barrel. He missed one Goblin Barrel throughout the entire time. The rest of it was all defended so brilliantly. Even with the loss, Mohammed Light still is in first place by an entire victory, an entire first place finish, 100 points ahead of Samuel Basoto, who's got 420 points. Then we see Ruben Morton and, of course, Kazardy or Igor at 400 there. So, you know, you look at this list, they're all names you know in this space. They're all great, famous pros, some of the best that we've ever seen in CRL, and that is why this leaderboard is exactly what we're seeing. I imagine we'll be seeing over 80% of these guys at our World Finals.